I just love how gooey and warm and satisfying it is. Hi, I'm Chef Anna Olson, and you know what? I know you are going to love this recipe for my warm chocolate boudini. Now, this is like a take on the Molten Center chocolate cake. In fact, it's the Italian cousin. Boudini means pudding, plural. A single pudding is a boudino. And this recipe is so sumptuous. It's warm, but yet you can make it in advance. And even better, it's gluten-free. You know what? It leaves more room for the chocolate. Start by separating your eggs. I only need the egg whites in this recipe. The whites go into the mixing bowl. And I'll just save the yolks for something else later on. You'll notice I'm cracking my egg on a flat surface. You get a nice clean break without sharp edges. So when you have to separate your egg, it's easier. You won't catch the yolk. Room temperature eggs are best. Now what I want to do is mix my egg whites on high speed until they hold a soft peak. While I'm mixing, I'll gradually add half a cup of sugar. So now I'm going to add my melted bittersweet chocolate to the egg whites and fold that in. You want to make sure you're using baking chocolate. Sometimes it's called couverture chocolate and that's meant to be melted and stirred into dessert where chocolate chips are meant to hold their shape. So you don't want to melt chocolate chips to stir them into a recipe like this. Now to mix in the chocolate, to be vigorous is absolutely fine. I'm just using the whisk attachment. You could use a whisk by hand or even your electric beaters on low speed. All I have to do now is sift in my dry ingredients. So in place of flour, let's add more chocolate, some cocoa powder. And I prefer using Dutch processed cocoa powder, which is actually not about quality necessarily, it's about flavor and intensity. Dutch processed cocoa has had some of the acidity pulled out of it. A little bit of baking powder and a touch of salt to balance out the flavors. I'll just use my whisk and I can always switch to a spatula. And then the last ingredient to add to really intensify that chocolate flavor, a shot of espresso coffee. Honestly, you won't taste the coffee flavor in it. What you will taste is the intense chocolate flavor. Now I have four lightly greased ramekins and you want to fill them up about three quarters of the way full because you have to leave room for the expansion as you bake it. The key to get that warm, gooey dessert is, of course, to bake them to order. And that's what I'll do. A really hot oven, 400 degrees. That way it sets a crust on the outside, the center liquefies, and within 18 to 20 minutes, you know it's time to pull them out of the oven. Here we go. And you can see how the surface has matte, has lost its shine. So you know you've got that crust on the outside, but the gooey center. You can let these sit for a few minutes. You don't have to jump right in, but of course, why wait? I'm here. I just happen to have some chocolate mousse here. So I'm gonna dollop some of that on top. And why not make it even more chocolatey with some chocolate sauce? Is there such a thing as too much chocolate? I don't think so. And dive right in to get that bite. Oh, I just love how gooey and warm and satisfying it is. With this chocolate inspiration, tune in to Great Chocolate Showdown on Food Network Canada. See you there.